Hi everybody, it's me, Professor Kevin. I'm very happy to, to talk to you. Hi. So in this class, we're, uh, let me, yes, uh, it's recording. We're kind to learn about comparative adjectives. Let's start. Let's start with the regular ones. For example, Okay, okay, let's continue. continue. Sorry, I have to do an item. The desert is drier than Africa. Guys, please stop talking about deserts. Yeah. So here, in this sentence, they're emphasizing about the regular comparative adjectives. Most of the time, we must add ER at the end of each adjective. And after this adjective, we gotta use done in order to emphasize the comparison, the comparison of the sentence, all right, or the comparative habit. Okay. So we have the first one. The first rule says we have to add er, slower, warmer. Uh huh. We have slower than. Okay. The turtle is slower than the rabbit. Uh huh. The reporter is warmer than Arequipa. Yes, that's true. Large, nice. What are we gonna do here? Just we add R. Larger than. Nicer than. Ikidos is larger than Takna. The teacher, Kevin, is nicer than the teacher, Jorge, for example. We have fan and hot. What happened here? We see consonant, vowel, and consonant. Consonant, vowel, and consonant. Consonant, vowel, and consonant. We have to add duplicate the last consonant and add ER. For example, uh -huh, double the consonant. Thinner than. The teacher is thinner than uh, Jorge because the teacher is slim and Jorge, and Jorge is, not, is not slim. Right? It's overweight. Okay. The next one, hot. Hotter than. Hotter than. Most of the time, letter uh, letter T in English is pronounced like er, er, okay, like little, 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 yes, even hotter in this case. So, for example, in the morning, Takna is hotter than our keeper. For example, I don't know if it's true or not. And what about this? With it finishes uh, with letter Y. It doesn't matter how many consonants, how many syllables does it have. As we could see in this first part, these adjectives they have one syllable: slow, warm, large, nice, and hot. And here we have two: funny, heavy. So we have letter Y. So it has to change. Uh huh. I E R, yes, correct. Funnier than. Okay, Tongo is funnier than the teacher. Uh, my laptop is heavier than yours. Uh huh, that's good. And we have the long objectives. The long objectives, they have two or more syllables. So they have a different use. We have beautiful, interesting. So we gotta use this one more, more past the ability, more beautiful, more interesting. 
Tacna is more beautiful than Ica. It's an example, please. All right. English is more interesting than French. I don't know. Maybe it's true or not. It's just a sentence. Okay. A Lima is more dangerous than Tacna. Yeah. So do not forget about this. This is for two most syllables. Do not forget it. Uh, we have the regular one that he says, Hey Dylan, you can't sing. Man, I sound worse than a cat. <laughs> it was very good. We have the irregular adjectives. We have good. It's, gonna, it's not. It's not gonna be gooder. It's gonna be better than. It's an example for me. Cristiano Ronaldo is better than Slatin Ibrahimovic. It's an example. And we have the bot, and we have words then. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Uh, just a sentence about this. Uh huh. Words then. My teacher is worse than yours. It's an example. And the last one, we have far. We have farther than, farther than. Both are correct, whatever you can use it. For example, Takna is far farther than Kidos. That's true, at all. Mm -hmm. And do not forget, most of the time we gotta use done to make the comparison. Do not forget it, okay? Here says when a comparative ability goes between two people of things, we write the end after the ability. Cuando el adjetivo comparativo va entre dos personas, dos cosas, frecuentemente se tiene que usar el signo comparativo, la palabra comparativa, done. Kitty is better dancer than me. My singing is worse than yours. Let's just start with the exercises. You know the exercises. You post a video on up to when you finish, you click it play just to verify you are right. New York is lar uh -huh, larger than Paris. Calling is better at sports than me. The Empire State Building is higher than the Aleph Tower. Tower. David runs faster than Eric. Alicia is quieter than her brother. The white bag is more expensive than black one. My room is cleaner than yours. Maria is taller than Jessica. Science is more interesting than geography. Helen is worse at singing than me. Uh huh. Large cities are more dangerous than small towns. That's totally true. The Nile River is longer than the Mississippi River. Ice Age is funnier than Trek. Oh, come on! Ugh, I like it. I mean, I like it uh, better than Ice Age. But, well, it's an example. So, I hope you could understand the, how to use the comparative additives. And maybe the most important about is just to identify the rules uh, in order to make sentences about it. So, take into account the irregular additives. And also, do not forget about the but the abilities for taking account some important rules about regular ones. So I hope you can understand. Uh, here in the description of the video, we give you more exercises so you can practice more. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you can be ready for your next presentation for your product. You know, everything is about communicative approach. But just this day is just to help you in order to understand more about the grammar. Thank you. Goodbye. No.